stronger than oh Goku God. and Vegeta, but they can't be stronger than Barris. Which I thought they I thought they were as strong as Barris. No. Barris is still stronger. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Go Ultra Instinct Goku can beat him. No. That's the cause see the whole thing about it is Ultra Instinct is a god of destruction moveset. Yeah, but he can't obtain obtain it. He no So he goes no, further. No, 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 that's the whole thing. They never say it. Barris that's why he gets excited when he sees him go Ultra Instinct. He thinks, finally, someone's at my level. You know who's not fucking excited? <laughs> Is it recording? Yes. You're sure? Yo, oh, fuck. What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando. And I'm Clinton. And this, this, wait for it, Brewheads Oktoberfest Contest. You You're damn, damn right. right. So, we are back again. This is year th three. 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 Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is year three of us doing it. We have uh, one returning. Yep. And we have... Uh, to set the base. Yeah, yeah, set the base. And um, we have six new ones. Six new ones. Uh, we got Berkshire Broom. We got Alvarium. We got Hanging Hills. Uh, Counter Counterweight. CT Valley, Valley. Noble, Noble J, J. And some German, some German shit. shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, but... You know, it's Oktoberfest, it's German. Yeah, it's German. It better be good. I, I will say, I, I I think I'm speaking for all of us, is October when it comes to the beers, especially in oh, yeah. our episodes, like yep. it's some of the favorite times for us. We got the yeah. Oktoberfest contest. Yep. We got the pumpkin keg. Yep. I, dude, I want to do something else. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. But we're all very excited for this. We've been talking about this for the past. Since... Ten minutes after the last year. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. um, it's stout season, it's hat season, it's Oktoberfest season. Yes. Oh, God, yeah. Good time to be alive. Yep. So, we're going to review them. Blind we're going to blind taste test them. Pick our favorites, let you know what we think, and uh, have some fun while we're doing it. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's stay tuned. Let's do this. All right, guys. Uh, going into year three here. Um, Oktoberfest contest 2019. When you line them up back to back, and you know, in this case we've got seven of them, I'm really looking forward. There's a, these are all new additions except for the returning of CT Valley, which is a great... Dude, you're really distracted. <laughs> ...base for everything. Shout out to Jay over at CT Valley for that. Um, I'm excited for all of them. I can't wait to do this. All right. First up, I don't know. Give it a shot. Smells like an Oktoberfest. I actually really like this one. It's interesting. It's like, it's really sweet, I felt like, for an Oktoberfest. And then it has a, has a slight wheat finish. Ooh, I actually kind of like that one. All right, second one. It, this, is, this is what I was talking about, like, Two very different beers. I, I understand the same profile, but very different. Like like this one doesn't have the weedy aftertaste. Uh, very similar up front. Kind of sweet too. So far, I think, oh yeah, so far I think number one. These two actually taste very similar. Or it just could be where that, you know, by number three, they all start blending together. Ooh, that, see, that was, see, that's that shit. It, completely different beer. Completely different beer, I feel like. I don't even know how to describe that.
that's like hands down the smoothest one. That's almost has like a ah, like slight creamy to that one. I feel like. They're all pretty close in color, not being the darkest one so far. I actually don't really like that one. I don't... Kind of like bready and weedy like all the way through. <clears throat> Oh. Oh. They don't taste good altogether. They don't. Not coming back up, at least. Okay. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. Right now it's gonna be a toss up between those two. Ironically, this is like the strongest one, like flavor wise. That's a punch in flavor. That's very flavorful. Uh, comes in strong. Uh, wow. What, I, I said this one? I think I'm gonna go this one. I like this one. All right, so uh, I'm looking forward to this contest. I always enjoy it. I love the uh, different variations that everybody have for the uh, Oktoberfest. So um, <laughs> I'm really interested to see how the German one is compared to the rest. What's it called? German shit. All right. <laughs> so uh, I always enjoy this, you know, just to see, you know, different tastes that everyone comes up with for. <laughs> For their version of an Oktoberfest. You know? Got him! I can't wait. <laughs> Alright, so it is my turn. So, just color wise for all these, they're all got that lovely amber hue, just slight different shades of it. Alright, so I'm going to go with the first one. That smells real malty. Real sweet smelling, too. got a sweet taste to it it's got that it's like a sweeter variation of Oktoberfest but it's got everything you want it's got that October you know kind of spice to it almost like pumpkin spices that one tastes a little flat um, dulled down version of the one that I just had. Uh, it's not as sweet. Uh, spice is kind of there. Very slight maltier taste to it. That first one was like a malt punch. All right. That one's strong. I like that. That one's got like a nice um, bold October Fest flavor, you know, it's real out there. Ain't hiding shit. I like that one. That's another bold one. Bold in the flavor. Real nice, uh, multi, slight spice what you want from Oktoberfest. This one's a little lighter hue. Not as bold. This is definitely a duller down. 
Um, not as bold as these two, but still has that nice Oktoberfest flavor to it. Nice malt. Um, slight spicy. Uh, really good. This one's a nice darker color. This one's different than the rest. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, this one's completely different than the rest. Not a bad different, just you could tell it, it's not like almost like traditional Oktoberfest. Almost tastes like a variation of Oktoberfest. Um, it's very subtle in the flavors. After the boldness of these two, it's kind of, it's, it's not bad, not bad at all. All of these are pretty good. It's just, that one's a little lighter on the flavor that I like. That one's not bad. Once again, this is lighter on the flavor, um, but it's still there. Nice Munich malt, tastes really good. Uh, it's got a slight spice, but this is definitely another one of the, um, not bold, it's subtle in the flavor. It's not in the kick in the pants. But it's tasty. Slightly sweet. Not as sweet as this one, but it's slightly sweet. This one. That one's mine. Go. You're not doing the jammies? All right, we take a look at the jammies. Yeah. yeah. Your house, your rules. <laughs> <laughs> um, so every year we do this uh, blind taste test. Pick which one we like. Nice smell. Nice. Uh, <laughs> pull up your fucking pants. <laughs> right when I say smell, you gotta drop your pants. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, so uh, you know everyone's variation of their own Oktoberfest, oh, like Michael Clinton Jesus. both said. Uh, little spices, you know, what they add to it to make it their own. Uh, we got CT Valley, which I always love. The other ones I haven't had yet. Um, so, welcome to the challenge. Here we go. What's up, everybody? Brando back here uh, doing the, uh, obviously, the contest. Very excited. Uh, very, uh, yeah, I'm going to hit start. Uh, very excited to be uh, partaking in some uh, beverages again. Um, you know, I, I love this kind of season, so I'm going to try these seven. Pick my my favorite. We'll let you know what it is. What? I know. I'm at 16 seconds. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Ooh, very sweet. Malty. As hopefully they are all are going to be. Very strong. Or maybe it's just my, my refreshed, refreshed virgin palate, but uh, very spicy, very, very forward on the on the spice flavor. Amazing malt, um, strong, but it's it's still smooth. Doesn't have a lot of bite. That's that's good. That's good. Just, just malt, just kind of a malt flavor, uh, or oh, aroma. Kind of flat. Still subtle, subtle spice. There's the malt, right at the end, right at the end. But uh, dulled down version for me on that one. Um, not sweet. Not really dry, slightly weedy finish. Yeah, definitely not as bold as this one. Ooh, more spice, a lot of spice in this one. Ooh, ooh, comes in right at the end, like a pie. Oh, got the nice pie, um, like apple pie, spices at the end, nutmeg, cinnamon. 
that's good. Three is good. No real, slightly malty, no real spice. Ooh. Get a nice little hot bite in there. Ending is a little dry, but overall, really good beer. Again, sweet, you know, malt. Or some of them are just going to be really similar. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, got that, like a, a lager-esque kind of carbony bite at the end. Real sweet aroma. Ooh, almost the same as this. Almost. A little more spice. A little more spice. I like that, I like that. Like apple and a pumpkin pie in that one. Ooh, yeah. Nice sweet. Right at the end, that's... Oh, God, it's good. Ooh, wow. Sorry. Here it is. Don't even have to go back through. That is nice. It's got bold up front, still smooth, nice and spicy. Burps well. Yeah. Cheers. My winner right there. All right, so we got the winners, our individual winner of the contest. The results are in. Yep. yep. They've been tallied. They've gone to Florida. They've been counted and recounted and counted again. So... Doesn't we'll get any more professional than this, let nope. me tell you. All right, so, so first off, Clinton. Clinton, you enjoyed, out of all seven, the beer he chose of the Oktoberfest contest was that German shit. Are you <laughs> <laughs> that happened the first year too. Yeah. That happened the first year. <laughs> yep. So Clinton pick. Hey, comes yeah. from the comes from the country. Comes, comes from, from the, the source. Yeah, yeah right. I'll real. tell you. That surprises me. Next. Next. I'm. I'm. I am. I'm. Excited. I hope one of you pick it too. I'm, I'm excited. What? That's you. Yes. That's me. What oh. did I? What did I enjoy? Ooh. What did I enjoy? Okay. All right. So, Michael. Yes. You ball licking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Your taste buds chose out of all of those. Yes. Do you want to guess? Are you ready? Guess. Just for my comment. CT Valley. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> CT Valley's Mike chose. CT Valley's Brewer J was given free reign to make this bad boy. Yeah. Um, and and he, uh, he went right after wow. that amazing Sam Adams I, flavor. You know what? I'm actually surprised. This year, Sam Adams Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even an option. <laughs> My mind was there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hanging Hills. Oh! Wow! Wow. All right. Where are you, bad boys? There you are. Damn. Now I'm shocked. I, I really am shocked on that. Because of where my palate was. It's a newly refreshed, <laughs> six months nothing, Oktoberfest. It, I, so awesome job, honestly, to all of the yeah, uh, beers. They're very similar. All of these similar. beers were good. So, um, I mean, I have no I will literally drink every single one of these. Uh, Oktoberfest beers. Absolutely. I will um, pass on either you one. You could of them. sit down and have any one of these and enjoy it. Yeah. With any kind of Thanksgiving, you know, Oktoberfest, 
um, any type of fall food. Yeah. Um, just I mean, fall weather. In, in all honesty, the only reason you can tell the difference in these is having them back to back to Absolutely. back. Absolutely. Great job, guys. Everyone, these, you know, I, everyone always says you're all winners. Seriously, you are. No. Because yeah. we could drink all of your beers. Yeah. Um, just three different palettes. These are the ones that we chose. Um, we're going to do it again next year. We're going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Maybe get some new ones. Maybe bring back some older ones. Pair them up together. It's going to be a fight. For we, real. We should do all German. Ooh. Ooh. Since that that would be a German Oktoberfest episode. Yeah, yeah. And then CT. How about we? How about we just go to Germany? Like and have international. Her. Yeah, let's go international. Yeah. Let's go to Germany. Her heads go international. Yeah. Yep. Let's go to Germany. Let's enjoy an Oktoberfest. So we're gonna start a uh, GoFundMe. For real. For uh, <laughs> send brew heads to send Oktoberfest. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. See if uh, Clayton can survive the airplane ride. Probably not. We got this. Or like a that's jet a blue. Long, that's a long. Flight. <laughs> that's a long. No flight. spirit. Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. All right, so um, thanks for watching our Oktoberfest yeah. contest for the third year in a row. And um, uh, as always, make sure you uh, follow us on all the social media. The all Grams, of them. Facebook, Twitter. Shit, we forgot to do the glasses. Oh, yeah, we did, but you know, it's we'll all good. We'll do that good. for... Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all good. So, um, like Brando says, drink responsibly, stay wobbly, have a great Oktoberfest. Catch you on the next one. Deuces! <laughs>